For energy savings naman, kay basic inverter, normally up to 30 to 50% savings yung nagagawa ng basic inverter natin. And depende pa rin to as per brand. While dun naman sa dual inverter, basically, mas mataas yung savings na napuproduce niya compare kay basic inverter. And more than 50% savings yung nagagawa niya as per brand din to. Did you know that having an AC running at a maximum period of time can add up to additional 50% cost sa ating mga electricity bill? And again, just a simple math. Before, nung wala ka pang AC, monthly bill mo is around 3,000 pesos. Then, having an AC, approximately additional 50% agad ito sa ating electricity bill. That's why, Inverter technology was introduced sa ating mga aircons, so we can save upon using it. And according to research, minimum 30-40% to 40 savings yung nagagawa ng inverter easy compared sa non-inverter one. Pero dahil na din sa advanced technology, there are different types na din ng mga inverter easy na available sa ating market. And commonly, ito yung mga basic inverter dual inverter, full DC inverter, and 5 DC inverter. And each type can give you different electricity saving cost. Pero alin nga ba mas dapat nating bilhin dito sa mga nabanggit natin na inverter types? And dito, pag-uusapan natin yung cost, energy savings, features ng bawat isa para makapag-decide tayo kung alin ang mas kailangan natin. And additional information lang, basic inverter, dual inverter, full DC, and 5 DC inverter are pure inverter technology sa ating mga AC. Nabanggit ko to kasi baka nalilito kayo dun sa tinatawag nilang inverter grade air conditioning units na naririnig natin kalimitan sa mga store. And para clarify natin, inverter grade air conditioning units is same lang ni non-inverter AC or yung ating conventional type. Pero bakit nga ba siya tinawag na inverter grade? Kasi ang pinagkaiba lang niya is yung refrigerant na ginagamit sa kanya. Commonly, sa ating mga old air conditioning units, especially sa non-inverter, yung refrigerant na ginagamit sa kanya is R22, which is for phase out na rin kasi nga meron siyang environmental issues. So, ang ipinalit ng mga manufacturers na refrigerant is R410A na commonly used naman sa ating mga inverter AC. That's why yung non-inverter air conditioning units natin ay tinawag na inverter grade kasi gumagamit siya ng refrigerant na ginagamit lang din ni inverter AC natin. Pero generally speaking, inverter grade air conditioning units is same as the non-inverter AC natin or yung mga conventional type. So para hindi na rin kayo malito, if sa sunod maririnig nyo yung term na inverter grade air conditioning units, ialis na natin to sa listahan sa pagpipilian ng inverter types. Bago po i-discuss ang different types of inverter AC, and wala pa kayong idea about inverter air conditioning units, I highly recommend na panoorin nyo yung another video about non-inverter versus non-inverter AC na makikita nyo yung link sa description below ng ating video. And currently, yung ating video na yun is merong 75,000 views na. And now, let's compare the different types of inverter AC. First one is the basic inverter and the dual inverter. Ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba ng dalawang to? First difference is the technology. Both inverter AC is meron siyang DC compressor inverter na kadalasan ito yung tinatawag na BLDC motor or yung brushless direct current motor. Then for basic inverter, meron siyang single rotor compressor. While for the dual inverter, from the word itself, meron siyang twin or dual rotor compressor. And para makita natin yung pinagkaiba ng single rotor sa dual rotor is yung internal design niya. As you can see, sa single rotor compressor, isa lang yung nagko-compress ng ating gas or yung refrigerant. While sa twin rotary compressor naman, meron siyang two rotor na nagko-compress ng ating gas. Kaya mas advanced and more stable yung operation natin pagdating kay dual inverter. And then, pagdating naman sa cooling performance, si basic inverter, much better siya compare sa ating non-inverter AC. Kasi nga, gumagamit siya ng inverter technology. Pagdating naman kay dual inverter, more advanced and stable yung performance nga niya. Kasi, 
meron nga siyang twin rotor which results for a better performance compare kay basic inverter. Pagdating naman sa lifespan, yung average lifespan ng ating AC under normal running condition is 10 years. And pagdating kay dual inverter, mas mataas yung lifespan niya. Kasi yung compressor load was distributed on two rotors compare kay basic inverter na yung workload niya is kinakaya lang ng isang rotor. And uh, pagdating sa lifespan nga, mas nagtatagal yung compressor ni dual inverter. Pagdating naman sa vibration and noise level, kay basic inverter, syempre mas quiet siya compared to non-inverter EC. Kasi yung compressor natin dito is hindi on and off. And pagdating kay dual inverter naman, yung noise level and vibration niya is more stable and much quiet compared kay basic inverter. For energy savings naman, kay basic inverter, normally up to 30 to 50% savings yung nagagawa ng basic inverter natin. And depende pa rin to as per brand. While dun naman sa dual inverter, basically, mas mataas yung savings na napuproduce niya compare kay basic inverter. And more than 50% savings yung nagagawa niya as per brand din to. Pagdating naman sa unit price, syempre mas less expensive si basic inverter compare kay dual inverter. Mas mahal si dual inverter kasi yung technology na ginagamit sa DC inverter compressor nito is mas advanced. Then let's proceed naman sa other type of inverter EC which is the full DC inverter and the 5 DC inverter. Pagdating naman sa technology comparison, si full DC inverter also known as a 3 DC inverter. Anong meaning ng 3 DC inverter? Normally, yung 3 DC inverter sa system component ng air conditioning unit, meron siyang 3 DC inverter na parts. And the first part is the DC inverter compressor. The other one is DC inverter indoor fan motor. Which is ito yung nasa indoor unit natin. Normally, makakita kayo ng blower fan. This blower fan has a motor fan. And then, ito yung uh, merong inverter direct control motor. And the other DC inverter is the DC inverter outdoor fan motor. Ito naman yung makikita natin sa outdoor unit. As you can see, meron din siyang outdoor fan. Yung outdoor fan na yun is meron ding outdoor motor. Na siya din yung merong DC inverter. Kaya tinawag siya na 3 DC inverter. And all of this motor is tinatawag din natin siya na VLDC or yung brushless direct current motor. Na siya yung nagko-control and regulate ng speed as per requirement ng kada parts. So, if mataas yung requirement na kailangan mo sa pagpapalamig, mag adjust din yung kada part na may inverter motor. And, let's proceed now sa ating other types of inverter AC, which is the 5 DC inverter. So, from the word itself, meron siyang 5 DC inverter control sa system components niya. Ano yung 5 parts na yon na merong DC inverter? The first one is the DC inverter compressor. The second one is the DC inverter indoor fan motor. The other one is the DC inverter outdoor fan motor. Kung mapapansin nyo, itong tatlo is same lang din dito sa tatlo ng full DC inverter. Kaso, ang pinagkaiba, meron siyang additional 2 parts. Ano yung additional 2 parts niya? The fourth one is the electronic control expansion valve. Normally, ito yung ating expansion valve, which is electric control o yung ginagamit natin sa mga non-inverter or sa mga common AC units natin. Yung purpose kasi ng expansion valve, siya yung nagre-regulate ng flow na refrigerant sa loob ng ating system. And dahil nga, electronic control na siya, kinonekta na rin siya sa mga electronic circuit board natin. Kaya naging inverter type na rin tong ating expansion valve. And the fifth one is the indoor vane motor. Ano naman to? As you can see, sa ating mga aircons, meron tong vane or louver na tinatawag. And commonly, makikita to sa indoor units ng ating mga AC. Ito yung pwedeng tawagin nating swing na nagdadirect ng flow ng air kung saan natin gustuhin. And normally, meron tong mga auto operation na sineset natin. And dahil nga sa advanced technology, ginawa na rin nila to ng DC inverter motor pagdating dun sa mga vane natin or louvers. And pagdating naman sa cooling performance, si 5 DC inverter natin is uh, better compared sa ating full DC inverter. Given na nga na meron siyang 5 components na DC inverter yung parts niya. And dahil nga dito, meron siyang advanced and stable performance. Pagdating naman sa lifespan, si full DC inverter, kasi nga, uh, yung pag on and off na mga parts niya is limited lang. Kasi nga, 3 parts niya is my DC inverter. Normally, more than average yung nagiging lifespan niya. Umaabot siya ng more than 10 years. Pagdating naman kay 5 DC inverter, mas madami yung parts niya na hindi on and off yung operation. Kaya masasabi natin na mas mataas din yung lifespan na pwede niyang marating. Let's remember na the more on and off yung ating parts, the more na tendency is magkaroon siya ng breakdown. 
Kasi pagdating sa mga air conditioning units, yung on and off operation natin is isa lang. Maximum and zero operation lang. So, hindi nabibigla yung mga parts natin sa ganong operation. Compare if meron siyang DC inverter na smooth and continuous lang yung running ng kada parts. Pagdating naman sa vibration and noise level, hindi nagkakalayo yung quietness in operation nila. Kasi nga, uh, advanced na rin yung DC inverter nila. Marami na rin parts yung naka-DC inverter. More stable performance na rin yung napuproduce ng bawat isa. Pagdating naman sa energy savings, si full DC inverter, up to 60% savings or more yung nagagawa nito as per brand na rin. And yung 5DC inverter naman, mas mataas siya ng savings na napuproduce. And pwede siyang umabot ng up to 75% savings or more, depende sa brand. Pagdating naman sa price, syempre more expensive yung ating 5DC inverter. Kasi yung pagkakaroon ng DC inverter motor is expensive and yung 5DC is mas madami compared dun sa ating full DC inverter. So in summary, different manufacturers are having different inverter AC technology. And the primary goal here is to save energy compared sa ating conventional or non-inverter AC. And before buying, take into consideration of the following. First is the EER or yung ating energy efficiency ratio. Don't forget na as rule of thumb, the higher the EER, the better. So, if wala pa kayong idea kung ano nga ba yung EER and ano ba yung epekto nito sa uh, pagpili ng ating mga air conditioning units, meron na akong ginawang video dito. And yung link ng video about EER is ilalagay ko sa description below ng ating video. And hopefully, Panoorin nyo to para magkaroon kayo ng idea para dito. And the other thing na pwede nyo consider before buying an inverter AC is to look for features like air filtration, air purification, is in operation, and especially yung long warranty. And lastly, the budget is also our main concern. Kasi yung mga inverter type AC natin is much expensive compared sa non-inverter. Lastly, buying inverter AC does not guarantee that you can save. Always consider the right capacity for your room. Kasi kahit na inverter AC nga yung gamit mo, pero under capacity or over capacity naman yung nabili natin as per requirements sa ating room, is hindi pa rin tayo makakasave dito. Para magkaroon pa kayo ng mas deeper knowledge and idea about sa pagpili ng tamang size ng aircon para sa room mo, meron pa akong another video para dito. And hopefully, mapanood nyo rin to. And yung... Link dito is ilalagay ko rin sa description below ng ating video. And lastly, pag bumili kayo ng inverter AC, as much as possible, patakbuhin nyo to at least 8 hours. So you can see the significant difference of savings in using an inverter AC. So hopefully, nakatulong ulit to sa inyong video and nagkaroon kayo ng knowledge and ideas about sa different types ng mga inverter aircon na available sa ating market. Don't forget to like and subscribe on this channel para Maging updated pa kayo sa mga susunod pa nating videos.